Hey everyone, it's your girl Hey Planner Girl Hey. I know, I haven't really posted for like a month. It's all my fault, but it is my fault because so many things have just been happening in my life and good things, good things, blessed things. It's just, man, do I get preoccupied with certain things. And one of my big things is Animal Crossing. My goodness, that game, I think I've played over 700 hours of that game. And I'm, I love it. I do. But it has seriously made me stop, like, planning, decorating, you know, doing things I was doing. And um, the addiction is real. So I need to pull it back and chill out and not do that. So I'm bringing you a new video today and it is the quarantine bucket list. Uh, here is my planner, my Sailor Moon planner I made. If you look at my other videos, I have um, like April done and I actually did my, whoops, I actually did my June uh, bucket list and so we are in July. Of course, no idea where May went. Why? Because January, March, April, May, I've been playing Animal Crossing like crazy. Um, so anyways, here we go. So grab a snack, come on back. Please make sure you like this video at the end and subscribe. So where can you get this from? This is a freebie from Printable for Planners. The link will be in my bio. Follow me on Instagram, please. Actually, at the end of this video, you will be seeing my April... I think it's my April one, or I don't know which one was recorded. I'm pretty sure it was April. And it's a little silly. Like, I watched it again. I was like, oh, my gosh. What was I what was I smoking? So um, I'm going to be using these expensive highlighters, the mod liners. I, I can't get – I can never stop saying that. Like, I can't believe I spent so much money on these things. Um, anyways, so that, and you're going to need maybe a black pen, um, up to you. So these two pens are from Happy Scrappy, Living the Dream. I'm going to use a really, really fine tip pen because I find like it's so much easier to just get like all the different like details in it. So that's what's up. So let's start with, uh, I want to decorate my month just like how I decorated my June. So I feel, I feel very purpley in July um, I hope everyone's been doing really well. I've been super, super happy staying home. I know, I know it sounds really bad, but it's true. Like, to work from home is a blessing, okay? And let's all remember, a lot of us, we wanted this, so make the best of it. And I think my downfall, though, is that, again, sorry, I'm going to say it again, Animal Crossing has seriously just made me like forget a lot of my priorities, a lot of my fun things, a lot of the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Like I'm supposed to be making my friend a, a Animal Crossing cover and I haven't even done that. In fact, I haven't even updated my Animal Crossing planner. I can't even tell you where it is right now because I have just been playing the damn game. Um, I'm gonna quickly look. No, I have no idea where my planner is, which is sad because you know, I made it. Um, hopefully I'll find it as I videotape this, as I record this video. Give me a second. No, not there, not there. No idea. Is it there? Oh my gosh, I found it. Found it. Here is what this, this guy has been taking up my time. And so I think I have a video of this. Anyways, there's this. Okay, so, so I did my July, and in terms of, like, what I want to get done, um, must get done. Okay, well, I want to do my, I'm just going to write short form, intermittent fasting. I want to continue, I don't like to say diet, but girl, it is a diet. Um, I want to make sure I walk every day and my oh my gosh what did I do as a whack okay I want to walk and then my goal is to walk 
what is it, 10,000 steps. And then I've been watching a lot of Revenge Body by Khloe Kardashian. And it seems like trainers want people to walk 1,200 steps a day. I don't know if that's just like a gimmick or like, you know, let's do better than the average. I don't know what that's all about. So there's that. And then I must get done. I got to really pause. And um, I want to just like make sure I script in my in my journals, in my gratitude journals. Um, and then I want to make sure that I, hmm, that I do like some planner stuff. But anyways, we'll get there. So my priority is, for me is to continue. And I stopped that too, is like reading. Can you believe it? For almost two months, I haven't read a thing because of Animal Crossing. Okay. Yeah. So get back into my reading. Um, um, what else? And then, well, my priority is my walk and, uh, yeah, what I'm eating. I have to say I lost like six pounds and then I, I put it back on, but then I lose it again and I really need to like push forward. So that's my, my goal. Okay. Next, um, in terms of to clean, to tidy, to declutter, I'm going to chill out, but uh, what I do need to clean up is my clothes and I want to separate them into seasons. And then what is going to be happening soon is my bookshelf in my library in my in my craft room is happening. So um, I'm just going to write my books and then my craft stuff. I already organized um, like my pen jar and all my like really pretty markers and stuff. Everything has been set aside. And one thing that I've learned to do is I have found a love of coloring. See, oh my, what's wrong with me? My goodness. Okay. Color. So I have adult coloring books now. I am so super stoked about them. I am going to be doing a video soon just showing you guys about my, um, my, what do you call it? My adult coloring books. Sorry, I made that mistake and I'm trying to find a sticker because, you know, I can't, can't do anything nice anymore. I haven't been planning. All I've been doing is playing Animal Crossing and losing my freaking mind. You know, next thing I know, it's like three in the morning. I'm like, what the shit? Oh, anyways. Okay. So now for here, what I like to do, I'm going to use a lighter purple. I like to write movies and I like to take a, a darker black, like a thicker, sorry, black. So I'm going to use my Sharpie pen and then I'm just going to write movies in cursive. There we go. That's cute. And then what I'm going to write down is, um, okay, there's the cap. Some movies, um, I'm not sure. I don't even know what's out anymore. But in terms of watching things, I like to take my highlighter and I'm just going to do some dot jots and then also books to read here. I'm going to show you my Libby and see what I need to do. My decluttering, I should have used the purple. Never too late. Never too late. And um, I like to write TV here because you can do both, right? Um, oh, I hope that was in frame. So there's a great show. It was by 50 Cent. It is by 50 Cent. It's called For Life. I've been seeing advertisements for it, but I don't know if it's coming back season two, like July. Is it starting? Uh, release date. I'm just on my phone. It is such a good show. If you haven't watched it, I highly, highly suggest you get on this bandwagon. Hmm. I'm not sure. I keep seeing advertisements for it. I don't know if they're just advertising to re like watch it on the PVR, the DVR, but it is such a good show. It is based on a true story. It is a series because there is just so 
many arcs to his life. Um, and I'm sorry, I should probably... What's his name, though? I forgot. That's to tell you. I haven't watched it in a while. Um, Isaac Wright. So, Isaac Wright Jr. So, it is so good. It is so, so good. Okay, not sure. But I do... I did hear Bachelor... Bachelor... I'm telling you. Bachelor... I'm just gonna write Bachelor P. Bachelor in Paradise is coming back out. So, I'm super stoked about that. I've been watching Simpsons. I haven't finished Living Single... I need to finish Living Single, and I need to finish Who's the Boss. Can you believe it? I finished Gargoyles, um, which was in my June bucket list. I did finish that. That was so freaking good. Um, I finished Insecure. The new season was so, so amazing. Um, and so, yes. Okay, so going back to this, decoloring that middle room. I also want to declutter the garage. And then, yeah, movies I'm a little blank. I am watching a movie on Netflix. I think it's called Informant. It is so, so good. Um, I'm just going to write that in here. I'm pretty sure it's called The Informant. Informant. Anyways, this is for your eyes. So you can squint as much as you can because it's in your planner. And then in terms of books, because I have books here to read, I have a, if you have an online library account, if you have a library card in general, you can access your library's ebook content for free. It has changed my freaking life. Um, okay, so I really like to, I really like to read like the Who Is, right? Uh, series like who is who was so I love that I find like I learned so much about various people who have come and gone through our decades um, if you ever get to get a chance read or listen to mr. Rogers it is phenomenal to his life um, oh Snowden that's right I was reading permanent record and do it eight days and I've only done 18 percent um permanent record mind you this comes in different sizes my friends so uh if happy planner is not your your jam there's definitely an a5 and things like that uh, retrain your brain is such a good book it has really helped me um and again because of animal crossing I have not finished it, and it's 20%. Uh, there's a lot of books that I've realized <laughs> that I've gotten them returned because I never read them, and I'm so upset. Like, who is Gloria Steinem? Who is George Washington Carver? Like, I'm trying to read all the Little Mr. Men's and stuff. Anyways, so I'll get to that. So it is a great app, free ebooks, uh, audiobooks, things like that. I'm going to have to re- um, what do you call it? I'm going to have to re-borrow a lot of these books that I've missed. And, um, uh, part, it's my fault. Like, well, you know, what am I doing? I'm just literally playing video games from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. It is a, an addiction and the quarantine is not an excuse. Uh, Who Was Queen Victoria was a great book. Jackie Chan, I was in the middle of it. Um, King Tut was interesting, but I mean, that's like history. Nelson Mandela, amazing. Um, Amy Schumer book. I didn't even get to finish or start. Um, I love Phoebe Robinson. Her books to me though are very essay. -y. Like, I mean, they are an essay, but there's just so much citation and like excerpts from other material that it just becomes so convoluted. I couldn't get, I couldn't keep up with it. Anyways, so that's what's up. And in terms of me time, I am going to... Let me grab a sticker book here. This is the Happy Planner Womankind. And I'm so sorry this video is going a little bit over. But I'm going to just try something a little bit different. I'm only going to give myself maybe three goals. Let me use this black one. Three goals for this um, 
for whatever's left. And my me time slash quality time, I am going to write it, obviously. I am going, but I'm going to write it here. I'm going to play my animal crossing. Sure. I'm also going to make sure I do my like adult coloring book slash meditation. So adult coloring and then I'm going to write meditation and then my, uh, my, well, I guess must get done, uh, church. I'm going to put that there because I have been listening to pastor Robert Mandu. He is hilarious at YouTube him. He is such a good, um, preacher to listen to. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm going to, oh, I know. Duh. My beauty, beauty routine. I haven't been doing my silken and I haven't been like doing my toners or any of my microdermabrasion or anything like that. But in terms of recipes to try, I am on a strict like kind of diet going on. So I don't really have any recipes to try, only that I'm going to just barbecue. Barbecue when and how many times I can, and I will feel super good. So I hope that helps. If you guys are interested for the quarantine bucket list, I'm so sorry. The first part is 16 minutes. I think the next part is like 10. Um, so this is my July quarantine bucket list. I hope everyone is staying happy, safe, and healthy. Please make sure you like and you subscribe. Thank you for watching this. and. As always, on the back, there is grid paper for you so you can draw, so you can manifest, so you can do anything you want. And this is a total freebie from Printable, from Printable for Planners. I hope you guys um, have a happy day and keep watching for my older conversation of the quarantine bucket list. Bye! Hey everyone, it's your girl, Hey Planner Girl. Hey, and today we are going to be looking at the quarantine bucket list and I can kind of do this with you so you can get some ideas and we can have a little bit of chit chat. So I'm using my Sailor Moon planner right now. Today is actually April the 4th and um, yeah, I said, you know what, let's just film it together. So in my Sailor Moon planner, I have my, my monthly I love this. It's so cute. Let me just do a quick flip before we get to the quarantine bucket list. So this is my April. I decorated it with a lot of like fun and rainbow and I really wanted to dive into the sticker book and you can check that out um, at uh, what do you call it? You can check that out um, on my channel. And then I have my month. So I use stickers from Happy Planner. Um, what am I saying? Happy Scrappy Freebies. So I put those in and then these are from that same sticker book. This is from Kina Prince and this is from Happy Scrappy. So in my Sailor Moon Planner, I have my mood tracker. I have to fill this out today. I am slacking. Here is March. It has been quite a crazy time in March and now we're in April. And so there's my little birthday calendar. I have some like my husband's work schedules and then we get to our quarantine bucket list. I need to cover this up with washi. So I'm just going to take this out. Now it comes in different sizes. I love obviously mini happy planner. That is my planner piece and I accidentally printed this one out on the wrong side. I thought so. So here we go. So here is the quarantine bucket list and here is the back. You get a really nice grid paper at the back and at the front, you have your, let's zoom in, you have obviously must get done, your priority. So your must get done, it has about nine bullet notes and in these gorgeous stars, there is no border and then you can write your nine, it doesn't have to be nine, you can cover up some, whichever, it's however you want to make your planner. Let me just zoom out so it's not as blurry. And then priority, there's three things. And then to clean, tidy, and declutter. And then there's some books here that you can 
write what you have read or what you plan to read. And then this is books to read. Up here, if there's a little bit of a gap, you can decorate it with some washi or you can use your pen and you can write movies. I have already wrote TV slash movies to watch, so maybe I'll write movies at the top and TV below. And then at the base, we have me time slash quality time on a grid like this, and then recipes to try. So we're going to do this together. So grab a snack, come on back, go get your printable by the way. I will leave it in the description box. You can pause your video. We can do this together. The price is free. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but that's a pretty good price and the price is free. So I'm going to zoom in. Sorry if it's a little blurry, but I'll try my best to keep looking at the camera so we can do this together. So I am using a happy scrappy pen, very fine tip in black. I also have my backup here, my planner society pen also in black. This was probably my favorite planner society kit. I love this kit and I have some, I have a lot of black pens, but I really wanted something thin tipped for this, um, printable. So must get done. Okay, so what I suggest you do is you think about it. For sure, for sure, for sure. So for me, what must get done is I must get done 45 minutes, okay, on my treadmill. So, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write really, really tiny, but I know what that says, treadmill, okay? And then my second thing I wanna do is focus on my Google Classroom. Okay, because I am a teacher and right now we are doing online learning. So that is must get done Monday to Friday. I also need to get done for sure. I have this pit, I have these picture frames and I need to put pictures in it. So I need to do that, some picture frame stuff. I also need to organize my clothes. Okay, because we just moved to a new house and I have a lot of clothes just kind of filled into drawers and hung in onto the like walk-in closet, but they're not organized. Um, what always must get done, I'm going to put this at the end, is always to clean. And then um, I'm going to say laundry for sure. Sorry if my spelling is wrong, if anything shows up wrong, because I'm looking at the camera and I'm doing this and it's kind of funny. I have a few things left, but that's okay. So some of my priorities is I need to do my 45-minute walk every day okay per day and some people are like oh you should go longer but you know what i find like when i'm on my treadmill and i go longer for 45 minutes sometimes i go up to an hour i just start to tend to feel like oh my gosh this is torture so i like to just kind of know on my fitbit i put it for 45 minutes put on a good show 90 day fiance and it goes by like a breeze some other priorities, I honestly, I need to think about it. So I'm just going to kind of move on because this is part of my planner. Now, to clean. Again, we've moved into a new house to clean. And I'm going to do a little bullet or a dot jot. And I'm just going to write middle room. Because there are still boxes there. Really, we are renovating our kitchen. So our middle room has a lot of kitchen items. And I need to just kind of organize it. I should put that for tidy. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. We'll figure that out. It all makes sense to me. Okay. Next to tidy up, um, to, I need to get a lock and the shed and to put the tools in there, the outdoor tools. And then for declutter, I'm just going to write middle room again. I also want to declutter maybe my planner stash. So some planner items. Okay, now let's move on. So we did that and now books. So I've been reading a ton of books, audiobooks, ebooks, and I love them. Currently I am reading Ali Wong. Now I'm just trying to think, um, you know, I'm going to put books that I've completed and I'm going to write books that I'm currently reading. So I'm reading currently Ali Wong. And I am reading her book. Um, no, let me just write her full name. Reading, and then the L didn't really show up. It's on the side of the A. Ali Wong. And then Phoebe Robinson. I'm reading her book, Everything, Everything is Trash. So I'm just going to write Phoebe. P 
P-H-O-E-B-E, -E, and then I'm just going to write trash, because I know what that will mean. And then the Who Was series. Who Was. And I'm just going to write series, which is about, I think it's like about, I want to say 45 minutes, sorry, 30 minutes to maybe an hour per book. They're really tiny, and it sort of gives you a quick biography about it. And then, sorry about that, my Ali Wong book is called, I'm just getting my list right now. The Ali Wong book is called, here we go, Dear Girls. That's what it's called. So I'm just going to write Dear Girls or Dear. Okay. Obviously, I'm writing really chunky, but it's up to you. Okay. Next. I'm a big, oh, up here. So I am actually currently reading like the Mr. Men series and I'm reading the, um, the Miss series, like those little fun books. And then I have also read Mindy Kaling, Kaling's book, her second book, which is so good. I've also read Anna Kendrick's book, which is amazing. Um, when you, when you read Anna Kendrick's book, it is so, so good. Um, the Happiness Project, I'm just going to write happiness. I know what that will mean. I know this is so tiny, but you know what? I know what it means. And it's super cute. And then I have also read uh, Land of Stories. So I'm just going to write land because I know what that means. And then Land of Stories. So there's that. Now... Here we come to the movie reel. I am super stoked. I'm actually just going to write. Let's make it fancy. So I'm going to do this. Um, let's do M-O-V-I-E-S. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Don't lose your, don't lose it. And then I'm just going to go M-O-V-I-E-S movies. Okay. So, some of the movies that I have meaning meaning to watch is Good Boys, which is being released, I think, on the 10th of April online, like, through Crave. And then there's a new one on Netflix called Coffee and Cream, but it's K-A-R-E-E-M. And then another movie called The Hunt. My dad told me that's a good movie to check out. Um, what other movies? I'm not too sure, but I do know for TV, guys, I'm actually going to do that and just write TV. I have been watching, um, Living Single. Oh my gosh. I got all of the episodes and I am currently watching in Living Single. It is so funny. And to watch all the episodes from like season one to, I think there's five seasons to season five. It's so good. I'm on season one. I think I'm on episode 22. I'm on like one of the last episodes of this, of season one. And then I've been watching all the episodes of Who's the Boss. I've been doing that for a while. I've been kind of extending it because, you know, it's just one of those good, good feel shows that I just want to keep on watching. And then after Who's the Boss, oh my gosh, Insecure. If you have not watched Insecure, it is so freaking good. I think we're on, we're going to be on season four. It is so good. I watch it on Crave. I think you can watch it on HBO. I'm not sure. So, so good. Um, there's some other shows like uh, Shrill, which are really awesome. But right now I watch all the seasons, so I don't really need to continue that until new seasons come out. Um, as for TV, I'm not too sure, but I know my, my hands down favorites, favorites are like the Simpsons for sure. Um, but I'm going to come back to this and like add like a movie or whichever comes up. Um, uh, for my quarantine bucket list, I'm doing this weekly and what's nice is it's free. And once the printable is yours, you can just print it out as many times as you want. As you can see, I did print it out a few times. So, here we go. Let's move on to me time. So, what I 
think everyone should do is sit down, chill out, put on like a five minute meditation. And this is what I did. So for my me time, I really reflected on myself. And you can grab some stickers to obviously make this a whole much better. And you can make it a little bit more colorful. So I'm just gonna have, and again, I'm doing this weekly, so I don't wanna overwhelm myself. So I'm just putting, um, I think I'm just gonna put three things. I might switch it up later if I need to, but I'm just gonna put three. And try and space it out a little evenly, you know. Show like I have some common sense. Okay, so for my me time, I am going to, and I did, I sat down and I thought about it. I really need to get back into my beauty routine. And I'm not talking about just because of COVID. Like, first of all, I don't even get my eyebrows done anymore because those people who thread my eyebrows, it's like they do it and they just want to take off more and more hair, especially when they're, and then they're like, your eyebrows are too thin. You need to put like castor oil or whatever and I'm just like but you're the one who like ugh. so I have stopped doing that but I'm talking about like you know your bure strips your your skin routines your microdermabrasion your silken so I'm actually going to be super raw right now and I'm going to disclose yeah I have a silken and I need to use it on my face I also need to do my micro dermabrasion on my face and I need to always do my toner and I put on different sometimes, which helps with my acne. I kind of stopped using, I have stopped using proactive. So um, my doctor gave me different. Okay, next, something else, me time, quality time. I need to play my video games. Now, I'm not just talking about like the Switch. Okay, I'm also talking about Sims 4. Oh yes, Sims 4, and I'm talking about my Animal Crossing. Oh yes, video games, Switch, Animal Crossing, PS4, you name it, Sims 4, whatever. Okay, then another thing is, for my me time, I love to do my planner time. Planner time. So that's using up my stickers getting printables, um, you know, supporting my friend's shop, Printable for Planners, and just taking some planner time. And, um, you know, when I do planner time, and even when I play Animal Crossing, I always have either an ebook going in the background, an audiobook, sorry, or um, like a really good YouTube video, just something, you know. And then recipes to try. Now, this is kind of difficult for me because, like, I'm a very basic and I try not to do a lot of recipes anymore. But because we know what's going on in our world, I would love to try and bake some bread. Okay. And then I want to make my chicken hot dogs, pigs in a blanket. And some of you are probably, oh my gosh, girl, what? But yes, like this is a treat for me. I don't eat pigs in a blanket. So I want to eat my chicken pigs. I'm going to write chicken in a blanket. So I want to do that and um, recipes to try. So far, that's what's good. I'm going to do that. And then let's go back up here to priority. I think 45 minutes a walk per day for sure. And then I want to also, I've been doing this too. I've been doing weights as well for about 15 minutes. And last but not least, priority for me is just um, reading, just reading every day. Some type of book, ebook, audiobook, paper book, just some form of reading. So my friends... This is the quarantine bucket list. You can grab it for free. Link is in my bio. You can also visit Printable for Planners in the description box. Her Instagram, her Etsy is all there. My Instagram is there, so you can go check it out. Add me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel so you never have to look for, you know, this video or, or anything. I always have a running code of Candy15 at the moment, which is um, now April. 
I have a code for Candy40. So you can save 40% off on any other printable that you see there. So I hope that helps. I thoroughly like this. Um, some of the blank stuff, I'm going to fill it in for sure. I just don't want to overwhelm myself. And that's something I think we all have to remember. Don't overwhelm yourself. This is a lot of time to reflect on yourself and your family and, and being grateful for things that have now been taken away for a lot of us who are living in a first world. So, you know, chill out. On the back, there's some grid paper. Now, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I might do dot jots. I might draw a picture. I might take sticky notes and write things that I need to work on for the next day. Or I might just cram it with a bunch of stickers. I'm not too sure. So it's going to sit here in my Sailor Moon planner. You know what I should do at the very top, though? I should write the date. So this week coming up for... Five, six, so like April 6th, and then just kind of go from there. So I hope you like this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe before you go. Let me just um, show you some more things. So here's my book diary. The printables are from Printable for Planners. This cover is not from Printable for Planners. This is something I've had a very long time ago. And you can record your books. So as you can see, I've, I reread Matilda. I read it a while ago. Um, Gratitude Daily. It's not supposed to be that way. Um... O's Little Book of Happiness, Scrappy Little Nobody, Why Not Me, Mindy Kaling, How to Remember Names and Faces, Realizing the Power of Now, Girl Stop Apologizing, which I was not a very big fan of. Um, I have a lot of books which I have not included. You can also get the podcast planner. So while you are planning, you can be listening to some awesome, awesome um, podcasts. So for me, here are some of them. You can pause the video. You can check it out. Some shout outs to like the Lady Gang. I love Two Dope Queens. I love the podcast. So many white guys from Phoebe Robinson, which the book I am reading one of her books right now. So, you know, there's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. So check it out. And then I kind of wrote like some of my favorite podcasts. So check it out. Use my code CANDY40. I have a running code of CANDY15. And then add me on the Instagrams and we can follow each other. But yes, I hope this helps. You are not stuck at home. Okay, everyone, you're safe at home. So make sure you have a happy day. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I will chat with you soon. Bye.